All right. When we're writing, we do all kinds of things. There's all kinds of information coming in to us at all times. Not just the scenery, not just the gauges, not just the traffic around us, not just the heat or cool, depending on the season we're riding, but the smells, the fills, the angles. Uh, so should we have our cameras on? Well, it helps us to be able to see what's going on. I can see later, hey, did I do something wrong here? How can I fix that? It helps me out as a rider to make me a better rider. But I also can sometimes talk and have people know what's going on in my head. Um, a lot of times it's, oh, squirrel, why? Well, hey, I get distracted easily. I've done that for years. The nice thing is I still get the job done. Now, I have a cup holder because sometimes when I'm on a long ride, I'm going to have a drink with me because if I stop or if the traffic's very light, I'm going to take a quick drink. You've always got to watch what's going on around you. You've got to see what's going around you. You've got to pay attention. I mean, you've got your speed. You've got the oil pressure. You've got your fuel. You've got maps if you're going like I do with the Waze. But I also have the Bluetooth in my helmet, so I don't have to pull my eyes off. It's going to tell me if something's coming up ahead. Right there, I'd have to use my eyes because you have cars coming out from the sides, which are known as snipers. You have the car getting ready to turn in front of me, which is just a distraction. The biggest thing is we've got to pay attention. And we've got to see what all's going on. I mean, there are so many beautiful things. Like there was a bike for sale there. The guy was asking way too much for that age of bike, by the way. Um, yes, I looked it up when I got home. But what about you? What do you think? How many distractions do you have on your ride? I've seen people with a lot more stuff up. I mean, I like the new bikes with the digital screen. They are very unique. They are showing different things than what I would have thought. You can change them up. You can make them look however you want. The biggest thing I have to say is, how are we going to make it so that it works for us? We want it as a biker to be able to show us what we need to see first and foremost. Once we've got to, okay, I understand this is on here. There should be a quick access, and I don't know enough about the new screens to know the quick access to change it to something else. The neat thing is it does give you all of the information that my screen has up here, which are the analog gauges. I'm just telling the ways, hey, I want to change my route. It's a quick one button, and then it's like, yes. Main reason I do that is just to make sure that everything's going good. Why? I want to make sure that I'm as safe as possible, especially if I have a passenger. And I do a lot of long rides. I like making sure that people are safe around me and that I'm safe and I'm not going to hurt anyone or myself. Okay, this is maybe a little more off, but I think some people understand. Because it's like I got in a friend's car last night. It's a more modern car. It's got a, I want to say it's a 19-inch screen in the middle area. They also have a screen in front of them, and you can plug your passenger, can have a screen on, and I swear the car was talking to us the whole time. I was like, this is insane. There's For me, it was just too much, especially when you think, okay, you're supposed to be driving. The, this was a computer, not a car. I believe very much in data. I like having data there. I appreciate a lot of the newer stuff. But I go back to some of my early bikes where it was a speedometer and a tack. Maybe a small oil gauge which was either hot or cold. And that was it. We have so much more on our bikes now. I mean, I laugh because I never had a fuel gauge until I got to these. It's okay. I'm on reserve. All right, time to go fill up. Does that mean it's bad? No. Everything is great. We just have to remember and figure out how to make it work for us. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying some of these. Again, I am not an expert. This is just my opinion, my viewpoint. I know what I know. Doesn't mean I'm always correct. Doesn't mean I'm perfect. I know people with a lot more experience and a lot more knowledge on these than I am. 
sometimes you can't get them to talk or they don't really want to. And I'm like, that's perfectly fine. All right, I'm going to finish this off with some music. I hope you guys have a great day. For my watchers, those who watch the watchers and sneak and peeks, you guys have a great one.